A one West Augusta family turned in last night with not one, not two, but 18 snakes underneath their bed. News Channel 6's Renata Dubow shares their story and what you should do if you find yourself in a similar situation. A lot of people are scared of snakes and so they want and even expect them to be outdoors in places like this. But sometimes they end up in your home and that is exactly what happened to one Augusta family. Before going to bed I spotted what I thought was a piece of fuzz on the floor and I went to reach for it and it moved. There was something nestled underneath Trish and Max Wilcher's bed in their Tanglewood home Sunday night. And then a second later another piece moved. And I began hollering for my husband, we have snakes. The Wilcher family quickly learned there were 17 babies and a mother snake. The baby snakes recently hatching, making themselves at home. So Max Wilcher took a grabber tool and placed each one in a linen bag. He brought them out there to the creek area and released them there. Their new home is now near Ray's Creek. Outside of finding a place to lay their eggs, there's another reason why snakes may want to share your home. We spoke with Finnessy Center for Water Sciences environmental educator Camilla Sherman about what draws them indoors. If you have a mouse problem, the snakes are going to try to come and help you with that. Sherman says rodents are food for the creatures, so if you keep them out of your home, that's another way to rid yourselves of snakes, too. But this time of year, you're more likely to see them out and about. In the winter, when it's cold, they slow down because their body isn't able to produce heat like ours is. So in the summertime, they've got plenty of heat, and so they're a lot more active and you're more likely to see them. The increase in snakes means you may come in contact with the reptile more, but Sherman says in Georgia they are more than likely non-venomous. Bites are slightly down with Augusta University reporting spikes during summer months. If you give them a way out, they're going to take it. They're not going to chase you. The Wiltshire say they called a wildlife catcher for extra help. They now know they had garter snakes in their home, but no additional snakes were found. In Augusta, Renetta DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6.